Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Anuj Pachel and in this video I'll be talking about when and how should you start your NEET PG preparation. Not just that, I'll also be talking about how you should use Marrow effectively during the years that you are in MBBS. Not just for your PG preparation but also for university exams and uh, just learning in general. And most importantly, I'll be also talking about some of the mistakes which I made during my journey of these last two years preparing for the entrance exams. Now ideally I was supposed to make this video after NEET PG but I feel like that's just gonna take a lot of time and I feel like the mistakes which I made you should not be making those mistakes especially if you're starting out at an early stage. So a little bit about me. Hi, I'm Dr. Anuj uh, and welcome back once again. I'm an MBBS graduate from GMC Nagpur. I've scored more than 80% in first year and second year and about 74% in the third year, first and second combined. I have two gold medals in anatomy and biochemistry as well as nine distinctions out of the total 14 subjects which I've been asked. And I had an alternate rank of about 3500 in the INI CET May 24 exam. Which I really did not prepare for that much because my main focus was NEET PG. But I feel like most of you guys who are watching are probably my juniors and I should share my journey with you guys like I have for the history of my YouTube channel. This video is completely based on my experiences, my opinions and if you don't agree with it that's completely fine. Without any further ado let's start. The first part is when should you start preparing for a competitive examination. Is it second year, is it first year, is it third year, is it final year or internship? Before answering the question let me tell you a bit about this exam itself. What I have seen from my experience is that this exam does not test just how many videos, how many QBank you have done or whose QBank or videos you have done. It actually tests holistically how you have been through the MBBS in the last four and a half or five and a half years. It tests how many procedures you have done, how many procedures you have seen, what are the complications you have seen, what are you expecting from the patient, how will you manage the OPD if this patient comes to you. Since the exam is going completely in a clinical direction where one-liners are almost non-existent at this point except for a few exceptions but for most of the times it's just going to be like going to the OPD and seeing 200 patients and that is your neat PG exam uh, summarized. Uh, the answer would be as soon as possible. Uh, ideally within second year you should have a little bit of an orientation as to PG preparation. You should be watching the video as well as building your concepts from any application that you might have bought. I personally started using Marrow properly in second year when I used to sit at home and watch the videos during lockdown. Especially if you feel like your college is inadequately providing you with lectures. Coaching institutes like Marrow can be a very very big game changer. Even if you're late at starting it's completely okay but you should know that whatever point you are starting from, let's, let it be from third year or fourth year, you, should, you have to put your 100% effort into getting to knowing the subject, attending clinics as well as the OPDs as well as doing some part of your internship very nicely, the clinical part specifically and be actively engaged with learning how to be a doctor rather than just focusing on cracking one particular exam. Which naturally brings us to the second question is how and when should we complete Marrow videos as well as Marrow QBank specifically if we are studying in second, third and fourth year. So the straightforward answer is you should be completing that year's question bank as well as that year's videos in that year itself. For example if you are in third year, so forensic medicine and community medicine, these are the two subjects you should be completing that in third year itself. If you are additionally have ENT ophthalm, do it in that year itself. Ideally try to avoid any lag if possible. Uh, if you are studying for university examinations as well, the first five or six months of your preparation, you just put your 100% effort into understanding the concepts from Marrow. So just go to the library and sit at your desk and watch all the videos from the start to the end, complete your notes and now that all your concepts are completely clear, you can easily read the book in half the time it would have taken you to read the book from the starting itself. For example, the subject like community medicine, it's very difficult to wrap your head around by just directly reading Park. But if you complete the videos beforehand and then you go to Park, your Park will become very, very easy. You'll have a much deeper understanding of the subject and you can add whatever the points which you felt were missing in the videos or your notes from the book, from the book of your choice. The same thing can be said to almost any subjects. By the time around six months are left for university exams, just try to complete every video possible and the next six months dedicate your time completely towards the books that you have got to read as well as the notes which you've already taken. Combining these two will really help you out quite a lot. But what about the question bank? Uh, every time people ask me, where, whenever I do the question bank, I see the percentile and I feel very, very bad about myself. It's almost like I have never studied this subject and whatever the questions they are asking are difficult. I know you can feel that even I have been through the same journey myself and initially when you start to do the Q banks, it might be depressing. But do not worry because you have to take the question bank as a learning tool, completely as a learning tool in your first go of the question bank. And trust me, I say this from experience, the question bank that you do from Marrow is actually a little bit more difficult compared compared to the main exam that is especially INICT which I've given and comparing that to the previous year question of the NEET, the question bank for sure is a little bit more difficult. But you have to prepare in that level in case the exam does give you hard questions. So when should we complete it? You should complete the QBank as and when you can. I know it can be difficult but setting up a goal for yourself ki, okay I'm going to be solving like two QBanks per day or three QBanks per day is sufficient. One mistake that you should avoid making over here is just you know spamming the question banks like left and right and center like doing 20 question banks a day. That is not going to be that fruitful because again 
and i said it's a learning tool so whatever mistakes you are doing you have to add those mistakes into your notes or make a separate you know question bank wali copy in itself where you just add the mistakes of question bank so that next time that question comes and trust me in gt is the question bank wale questions do come quite frequently you do not make the same mistakes with respect to medicine i would like to tell you that do solve the cardiology question bank it will give you a really good idea about how to interpret the ecg i think that uh, solving the q bank will give you more idea than watching the videos because that is something which is very practical rakesh sir usually says that uh, me trying to teach you ecg is me trying to teach you theoretically how to swim i do not even understand one bit from it you actually have to go out in the world to see as many ecgs as you can to understand that topic so the question bank for cardiology and medicine is specifically teaches you exactly that ecg was one of my most weakest topics but thankfully it has improved now and same can be applied to so many topics but that i leave to you to explore and find out so initially when i was preparing when i was in final year there was edition 5 of marrow which was going on currently we are at edition 8 which is incredible that is like such a huge amount of growth uh, and edition 5 used to be extremely long like for medicine i remember we had i think about 240 videos and in edition 6.5 they had 260 videos but i'm very happy to tell you that when i when i look to the edition 8 new videos right uh, i think the entirety of medicine is covered in 135 hours which is is incredible because earlier it used to you used to take easily more than 200 hours now you can actually do medicine twice if you want if you want to watch the videos twice you can watch it in the same time it would have taken you to done medicine in the earlier editions when i compare my edition 5 notes to the edition 8 notes which are currently being sold as printed notes i think the volume has been reduced to at least 30 to 40% which is significant because there was a bit of a problem with the maro notes personally speaking and that was sometimes they felt a little bit too bulky to revise for example if i am sitting for a gt and i feel like uh, i want to revise let's say a subject let's say a short subject like dermatology very quickly the notes for derm at edition 5 were i think about 150 pages so it's really impossible for you to go through 150 pages just to revise a short subject but thankfully with the feedback they have reduced size of the notes which makes it really easy to revise things a lot of the people are going to be commenting why are you only suggesting maro why not any other platform to be very honest i haven't used any other platform and i absolutely love it especially the condition here in gmc nagpur is that almost 80 to 90% of students are maro students the remaining 10% are for i'm talking this specific really for pg preparation and i personally feel like it is one of the best tools out there and i can't wait to make detailed videos about the different tests which i have given the different scores which i get especially after my neat pg is over do subscribe if you don't want to miss that talking more about the notes it's one of the mistakes which i actually made when i was studying in second year tab to edition 4 chal raha tha actually i used to make all the handwritten notes for all the subjects myself so i still have my pharmac patho micro fmt uh, and even some of the subjects which of third year which i did I took those notes down and really never got back to it. I really never even opened them once after taking them down. And that made subjects like forensic medicine and pharmacology one of my weakest ones. So I had to spend so much extra time just fixing those two subjects up because I took the notes myself. The problem with handwritten notes that I made for myself was the handwriting was too bad because I was just trying to get through the lecture and sometimes pharmac can be a bit difficult to get through. And secondly, they are like they are so easy to lose. It's just one single notebook you can keep it and even you can forget about it. So it's uh, those two things really made it impossible. for me to revise the notes which are taken down if you are making handwritten notes thinking that you'll be using this two years down the line uh, i'm sorry to break it down to you you will not be using that two years down the line you will be making the fresh sets of notes because you will not be that good at the subject so what is my suggestion go for the printed notes of that edition which you are studying especially if you are in the earlier years that is second year third year fourth year because the printed notes will first of all give you a very clean and neat organization so you don't have to rely on yourself to write it in a very clean neat fashion that increases the odds of you actually revising it again the, secondly they are not that easy to lose but when you come to internship that's when the real game starts that's when you actually have to get into the zone to start preparing especially if you are giving a serious uh, internship wala attempt so during internship i personally use the revision video notes which are available on the app i every time maro releases new revision videos they are kept sent they are sending you an email that is a direct link to download these notes into your application and your device so they are basically like pdfs these notes are only available for revision videos so for most of the subjects i switch to the revision video notes because they are almost as good as the main notes but they are much much concise for example biochemistry is around 70 to 73 pages forensic medicine is 75 pages you know obs and gyne is around 150 pages so you can see that they are extremely small and easy to revise so in internship i would say go for revision video notes they are enough for you to do most of the recent neat wale questions correct which is your main focus during internship talking about revision videos you can actually use the revision videos whenever you are free whenever you want to because only like 6 to 7 videos are there for each subject sometimes more sometimes less and they will help you revise the entire subject you can use revision video notes if you want to quickly glance over topic because they are very well annotated with the timestamp so if you are having problem searching certain things for example
example recently i was having problems learning about the ctg findings right that early deceleration late deceleration etc you can just directly go to the search bar and search and you will directly be going to the revision video where it has been taught very beautifully the time stamps i personally feel on the revision videos are beautiful you can search and directly go to a topic you're looking for which happens quite a lot when you're preparing during internship time lastly i want to talk about how should you use marrow with respect to your university preparation is marrow enough inclusively marrow agar tum kar rahe ho then it might be a bit difficult for you but but marrow is one of the best best add-ons that you can have for your preparation for your university exams like i told you first do the videos it will give you a very nice idea it will explain you the topic very well and then go to the books and the books will actually prepare you very well for your clinics for your postings etc because whenever you're writing theory papers the examiner expects you to write certain points and marrow being a pg preparation application they do give you this point but they give it but they give it to you in a short manner so if you have to write a four page answer on something like otitis media it might be a bit difficult to do if you are exclusively using marrow but if you have already done marrow and then you have read the book you can combine the two and boom you can write an eight page long answer if you want for university exams books my friends are absolutely irreplaceable you can go watch any of my previous exam saga episodes and you will see i am not revising marrow at the end i'm just only and only focusing on books because i know that those will be the most important growth points in my life but you can definitely use marrow for your vivas sometimes textbooks may not do a very good job at explaining why something is something I never really understood what the Corvosius law was when I was reading in surgery. काफी difficult लगा कभी नहीं समझा. Exceptions are written here and there. They are never in one place. But if you just look at the pearl of marrow, that one single pearl will give you the exact idea about Corvosius law, which is a very frequently, commonly asked viva question when you are having a gallstone patient as your surgery case. which is also very common indeed especially the way the teachers have taught you remember the exact words of those teachers coming to your mind whenever you are trying to answer the vivas i remember my teachers asked me about the stroke patient which i had a case for medicine and the exact words of rakesh sir were coming to my mind and that is something which i was speaking continuously so that is what happens when you watch the videos your your practical aspect becomes very very strong and that's and i think that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of learning from the best teachers the best faculty the most dedicated and the most versatile faculty i would say so to summarize the university preparation for 6 months use marrow understand everything next 6 months go focus on your books as well as do the notes the marrow videos uh, the marrow videos along with your books will give you a good coverage for writing theory exams but for practicals the practical only handbooks plus your videos which you have watched will give you a very very big strong upper hand uh, when it comes to giving answers in the viva all right the last point which i'd like to make is uh, how you should be using marrow in your internship and what are the certain features you should be really capitalizing on first things first is custom modules you should be solving at least 2 to 3 custom modules of of at least 25 to 50 to 40 questions sometimes a day um and they should all be of recent need and try to go subject wise for example let's say that you are studying anatomy for two days so for those two days select the custom module for anatomy 40 questions and select recent need and do anatomy jitne bhi subsections hai upper limb and thorax uh, head neck face neuro anatomy select those subsections and solve all the recent need question using the custom modules recent need questions you can definitely do from the you know pyq module in marrow itself which is present in the question bank page but solving it from a custom module gives you that exact narrowed down question so if i just want to solve neuro anatomy from anatomy i can make a custom module just for that ki usme recently ask kya kya questions just do and perfect that so i personally did this a lot quite quite a lot last month uh, in june almost made i think 80 90 question modules uh, before the neat pg was postponed uh, so that is pretty crazy i think and all the all these were like 40 50 and 100 wale question modules only the next feature you should be definitely using is pearls so i used to just straight up copy the pearls into my notebooks because you can bookmark the pearls all you want but if you have it written in your notebooks you will definitely go and revise that one mistake which i think most of the people do in internship is that they give up to clearly thinking that the progress is very very slow so don't give up believe in yourself because miracles can happen and do not forget the reason why you are all doing this is to become a good doctor so focus on your clinics focus on treating patients and becoming better at the art it's i think those were all the common questions which i was getting since the last 2 3 months i have not made a video on this topic for a long time but i really hope that this helps you out we are all in the same boat and remember you are your own competition Thank you so much for watching and if you have any more questions please write them down below in the comments I'll be really happy to reply to them and please do subscribe if you want to support me support the channel and I'll catch you in the next one bye